Hey guys, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi page Canva website. If you guys are new to Guide Infinity, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, that would be amazing. Okay, so let's jump into it. So, as you can see, we are in canva.com, and what we're going to do is we are going to come up to this search bar and we're going to type in website. And as you can see, Canva has loaded these results for us. So if we come down and press this button here, and then Canva is now going to load us loads of templates. So if you are using the free version, what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to come and press this all filters button here, um, scroll down and you will have an option that says free or pro. If you press the free button, then Canva is going to show you templates that are available for free. I am currently, using the pro version but everything that I'm showing you can be done with the free version so as Canva has now loaded these templates what you want to do is you want to scroll down and find one that you like that speaks to you your brand your design and let's have a look so I'm just going to give it a scroll down there's so many nice ones um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and press this button on here and then what you want to do is press this purple button that says customize this template. Okay, amazing. So Canva has now loaded that for us, which is brilliant. So a lot of people ask, when is the menu going to appear? So your menu will only appear when you publish your website. But if you come up to the top and you press this preview button, you will see that we've got with navigation selected and then we have got all our different options here on our menu which we can change and i'll show you how to do that later on in the video so if we hit the close button and then we can start editing our website so what we're going to do is i'm going to change the name and i'm going to put my name um, and i'm going to put uh, ava brown there we go and if you want to change the background what you can do is if you select here and then if you come up to this black square here and then you can choose um, the color that you want so I definitely like a neutral palette so um, I'm going to come up and then just sort of make sure it's it's kind of what I'm after I prefer like a nice sort of brownie yeah, I think that's really nice. Um, if you want to change the font, what you can do is uh, select your text, come up to the top here and then go through and choose the font that you want. Again, if you're using the free version, there is loads of options available to you. I do think Canva is so good. As you can tell, I do just love it so much. I do just find it so easy to use. And I think there are lots of amazing options available if you are using the free one. So yeah, it is, it is just so great. I do really love it. Um, so yeah, like I say, you can change um, the text if you want to change the color. Um, let's see what black looks like. Yeah, black could look really smart. Um, you could sort of choose a palette of um, say this sort of like light brown, black and white. I think that can look really smart and really timeless. So then if we scroll down, um, we can then edit this page as well. Um, so obviously if you're wanting to put a picture in of yourself, if you come over to the left hand column and press uploads and then you can put a picture of yourself in so i'll just put this picture in um obviously that isn't me but there we go um canva is really good at that so if you drag and drop um so let's bring this so drag it over and then canva does just pop it in for you which is really great uh, there we go so these are just some pictures i've created that one really doesn't fit there okay amazing so this is obviously great to showcase yourself or images um, of your work whatever that you, you're doing you can put a little bio in here about yourself and then sort of scroll down so this is about me so a way that you can change your menu option is so if we just go to preview and let's see so as you can see we've got with navigation at the top and it is just loading that for us so we've got home, about, background. So if you want to change it, so let's say we want to say about me. So if we scroll down to this page and if you click on this button that looks like um, notes with pen. So if you press add notes, what we can do is we can change about and we can put that to about me. 
And if we then go to preview, you'll then see that that option has now updated to about me. So you can change it to whatever you want to. Um, so you could have about me, um, work history, gallery, gallery one, gallery two, portfolio, whatever you want to, you can change those options. And it's so, so simple. So what you want to do is just go down and keep editing your website to how you want to. Um, obviously, this is my artistic journey. So talking a little bit, um, it's obviously talking a little bit like your CV, but breaking it down into a little bit more of a modern way, which I think is amazing. Um, and then put some of your pictures, like your sample works, you might want to do a couple of pages of that. So if you press this duplicate page, and there we go, you can see that we've got two options. Um, and you can change it um, and move it around if you want to. Um, you could make this smaller, uh, sort of move that and then you could obviously do another one. And you can then sort of move that underneath if you wanted. So we've just duplicated that. So you could do that, copy that and then paste it underneath. If we move it to where we want to. So you could have one, two, three. However you want to, you get creative as you can. I love it. And um, once you are then done, what you then want to do is you want to have a little preview to see how that looks. So if you come up to the top and press this preview button, um, as you can see, we've got our with navigation and then you can see that we're on desktop. So we are previewing as if how this is going to appear on a desktop, which is amazing to do because, you know, people do do still use desktop, especially for creative work. Um, I know I love using a big screen. So just scroll down, make sure everything's looking how you want to. Obviously, you'd be checking spelling, grammar making sure your pictures are looking great. As you can see, we've got this two pages of our sample works, which is awesome. And then you want to come up and you want to press this phone icon and then you're able to then look at it as how it's going to be looked at on a phone. And then you just want to make sure that it's looking how you want to and then making any necessary changes that you need to. So what you can then do is come up and press publish website. And then you're going to be given these options here. So as you can see, we've locked your design while you publish your website. So you can purchase a domain through Canva. You can put in your existing domain or you can publish to a Canva domain, which is free. So I think you can only do five websites, five live websites on a free Canva plan. So once you've selected the right option, if you then press this purple continue button, and then you can enter your subdomain. So it is going to be example.my.canva site. So if we just typed in our name, Ava Brown, oops, spell it right. And then we can press continue. And then we want to just put in your URL and then you want to put in your description and then you can press publish. And then Canva is preparing that design for you. And then that is all going to be live. And that is it, guys. That is a quick tutorial on how to create a multi-page Canva website. And as you can see, that is now live. So we can now visit website, which is super exciting. Oh, and there you go. There is our website, which is amazing. And there we go. Scroll down. Oh yeah, that's see, that's so cool. So simple guys. And you can be getting your creative work up really, really quickly, have loads of fun designing, getting that real creative side out and then, you know, go and yeah, get everything live and published for all your new clients and stuff. So I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you could give us a like and a subscribe, that would be amazing. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.